How's it going? Thanks for clicking on the video. My name is Will and I do Apple Keynote tutorials. So what I want to talk about today is that Apple just recently this week released their version 10.0 of the app and there's a lot of cool new features that I want to talk about and show you how to use in this video. So what I think are the three coolest upgrades that they've made to Keynote are new themes, some new shapes, and a new text animation. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use and incorporate all three of those things. So the first thing that we gotta do is we gotta open up Apple Keynote. And so by clicking on it, you already see that this is all new. So up here where it says new, there's showcase, color gradient, academy, lookbook, bold color, um, basic white's not new, feature story, basic black, that's not new either. Uh, some of the classic white is not new, I don't think, but some of these are new themes, especially some of these first ones. So let's go have a look, like let's click on showcase. Bam, as you can see, lots of color. They give you a title. What the best part about it is if you come up to add slide, it gives you all of these options. Like here's like the intro that you saw and it gives you these, um, what I'm assuming are royalty free because they come with the program but these are just images you can use that are already in your slide. And so you can create a presentation based off of these images if they fit what you're talking about, or they can just provide inspiration. That's very uh, Billie Eilish kind of a look over here. And they're just cool kind of stock photography, I guess you could say. So let's look at another one. You have to open it back up. Let's go to Academy. Now let's go to lookbook. This one looks interesting. So here's the presentation title, it looks kind of bland, but like I said, you go to add slide and bam, they have cool slides that you can use that come with a color palette, some, um, you can you know, add title, type that in there. This is cool. Read this then read this. Yeah, so basically it comes with stock photos, like, you know, a font that's cool. Oops, font <laughs> that's cool. Um, and some predetermined bullet points. So this is what's really cool. This is a huge upgrade from what they had put. Like the previous templates were not all that great. All right, so let's get into the second one, which is new shapes. So I wanna show you shapes and I'm gonna choose just a plain black background, the basic black, so I can show you exactly some of these new cool shapes. So if you come up to here and under shapes, they have some of the old shapes, but like, you know, geometry, they have some 3D shapes now that are new. They've added a whole bunch of just new kind of clip art, kind of like emoji shapes. Some of these have been here before, but some of these are brand new. I swear they probably doubled the amount of total clip art emoji type shapes that you can have in here now, and they're listed by subject over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you, you can also search, like I'm gonna look for a ship. Bam, and here's all the different ships. And so um, for me, for someone who does a lot of animated maps, having a cool ship I can use as like a clip art is super awesome. And so you might be like, well, that's kind of a basic ship, but you can do a whole bunch of cool features to it. If you come over here under style, let's make it, I don't know, a color fill. We can make it a gradient fill where you can see it kind of blends. Um, advanced gradient fill. I mean, we won't go too much into that. A cool thing you can do though is also image fill. And so if you go to image fill, it fills it with that. But if you come over here to choose, you can choose something like a flag, for example. Like I have this British flag sitting here on my desktop. Bam. Now you have a British flag that is like filling the ship. And so if you come over here, you can go scale to fill or scale to fit or tile or stretch, depending upon the shape and depending upon what you, how you want it to look. Original size, yeah, it's not good. And we'll keep it scale to fill. Um, and you, as always, you can do cool things like you know, we can give it a border and I'll make the border white so you can see it better because it's on a black background. And yeah, we'll bring that down a bit. You can add a drop shadow. Uh, we'll make the drop shadow white so you can see it on the black and we'll bring up the offset so you can kind of see it and bring up the angle. So yeah, 
Um, on top of that, you, as always, you can animate it. We're going to give it an action to move. And so there you go. Shapes. So to show you the third thing, which is a text animation, which is brand new, I'm actually going to show you how to do it in a lesson that I already teach. And so a good example is the Russian Revolution lesson. Um, I do what are called primary source breaks, where I show students a primary source in between what we're talking about. And I use this typewriter um, text animation in this part. And this is what they got. They deleted it. And there's no more typewriter text animation. Um, and they've replaced it with what's called keyboard. So I'll show you what the old one looked like. So that's what it used to look like. As you can see, it kind of goes step by step. Um, I added that sound effect in there. So just know that like these text animations don't come with sound effects. Um, you have to add them yourselves, which I can make a whole separate video on. But that's what it looked like. Um, and then as we go to the next slide, they've replaced it with keyboard, okay? And so this is what keyboard looks like. It looks like somebody is typing it and you can kind of see a cursor at the front of it. That is what the new version looks like. So I'll let it finish real quick. And I don't know, I kind of like the, I'll be honest, I kind of like the old one better, the typewriter animation, simply because it looked old school and because I teach history, I like things to look older. But to give you an idea of what it looks like, I'll just give you a blank slide and copy this. I type this. So if you want to make it look like this, uh, let's go with I'm typing this. I'm typing this sentence. Bam. And so let's go with like five seconds. Um, so to hit preview, it looks like somebody's actually typing. And if you added a sound effect to it, to like a clickety clack of a keyboard, um, it would totally sell the effect. But what's also cool is that it's a build out. And so if you go build out keyboard and you go backward, um, it looks like somebody is deleting it. Okay, so I'll play the whole animation right now. I am typing this and it looks like somebody's actually typing it. And then to build it out, there's like a cursor and it looks like somebody's hitting delete or backspace to delete it. So it's a cool new um, anim text animation. Um, I don't know how much I will use it. I'll probably find a cool way to use it, but I definitely think it's creative. All right, so those are the cool new features of Keynotes version 10.0. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go comment below right now uh, what you thought was the best one of these cool new features. So until the next time, guys, bye-bye.